Hi guys, welcome to this uh, virtual box. We're ta gonna talk about grub theme, a grub theme. At this point in time, I'm working on a virtual machine. It's the one for April and it has the real time LTS on it. So in Calamaris, we can now select another kernel, two kernels in total, 11 kernels to choose from. So if something like the ethernet or the Wi-Fi or webcams or whatever piece of hardware that's missing, it's time to change the kernel, 11 choices. So, topic of the video is grub. We have a beautiful grub, but, right? Change is always fun, and with the ATT, you can add the wall, change the wallpaper. So, in, a, in essence, it's already something new. If you can choose one of the trillion wallpapers out there, you get a new background. Now the video, the, the GitHub that I will need to look for is gonna be on GitLab. So this is a link that somebody posted on Telegram and a dark matter grub theme. He said, look at this, they have included the Arconlix look. So what we're talking about is this kind of look. Let's go all the way down. And here we are, right, Arconlix logo is there present. How will it look if I install it? That's the what if. So whatever you find online, you read. And if you have questions, you ask these developers, right? You make an account, sign in, and you ask, or you put an issue. There are already four issues there. So it causes problems and so on. We take a look at it and say, okay, fine, right? And then we need to do this, do this. Well, how do, do I install this? Git clone installation, git blah, 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 dark matter, pseudo Python 3 dark matter theme pi install. So basically a one liner to get things going. Let's try it out. Never try this out on real machine, on your daily machine, daily rig, right? Install it in virtual box and then broke it fine. You broke it. Delete, new installation of VirtualBox. Control, Shift, V. Warning, potential unsafe use. <laughs> okay, that's new. Paste. Where am I posting this? Here, okay. Then he wants to do pseudo things. So I need to tell him my password. That's nice, right? So in here is a dark matter theme pi. And for the guys who want to learn about Python, you read anything you can find. You just read anything you can find. You have to import some stuff. Here are some colors that they set. And off it goes, check distro, check grub theme. And oh, it's not that long to read. So have fun exploring the Python code. We're not gonna do that. We just want Windows 11. Nah, no, joking. I just see it here, 39, right? Where is Arco Linux 46? Yay, last one. <laughs> Choose a resolution default full HD. For me, uh, one is enough. 2080 is good. Okay, choice. Color icons, white icons. I definitely like white icons. Update grub, let's see if it works out of the box. Meaning I just need to do sudo reboot, right? Then it's working out of the box. Voila, now we test it, now we know, now I can tell you it's gonna work. So we have a very small window, of course, so this text is a little bit longer. You have five restart shutdowns, so this is the normal look with another font and another wallpaper. Now this is virtual box. I don't think I can make this thing bigger, but you know, uh, it, it will become bigger on 1920 and 1080. Is this clickable? I'm not sure if I can do anything with it. Arrow up, arrow down, yeah. That's an enter, I guess, and then an E. Ooh, look at the font, right? You just go change anything you like in here like no splash or whatever, and then no mode set and no ACPI and stuff like that. And we have a C, and then we go to here. Okay, that's it, end of the video. How should I get it back? Mm. Okay, 
let's um, go in, right? Let's go in. See that that works. Yes, of course it works. It's just same text, another design. What happened to my system? That's something I always like to know. So file system, boot, grub. Is it here or is it somewhere else? Dark matter. Here it is. The bits and the pieces. And then in here we get a text, right? So if you change this because you don't like that or this or that, voila, go change it. How do you change that? GIMP. Well, GIMP is not installed, but GIMP would be a good thing because PNG. Now, get rid of it, right? So we know where it's installed. It could be installed somewhere else in user share and so on. But getting rid of it is also important if you are on, on a working system. But there was a get rid of it and we could maybe check it out here, uninstall. Voila. If you already have a version of the theme, uninstall it first. Find, there is a definition, there is a procedure to uninstall, right? Uninstall our script. So let's see if I just run this again. Sudo python give me dark matter. That code and it says invalid arguments use either i or u. So we shall. i is probably interact or something. Uh, yep. Oh yeah. Why not try something else first, right? Before we remove it. I definitely like Kali in the sense that the Kali logo, this is our logo. But if you have the Arch Linux 3 tool, I've been on the logo. I think it was Kali. Let's have a look. Four weeks until, of course, I did another scale <laughs> and it was gone again. So NeoFetch, we can have any logo we like. And I believe Kali, apply your NeoFetch configuration is a beautiful one. I was told it was a snake or something, but I got corrected. People said, no, it's a dragon with these wings. Oh yeah, now I see it. So the dragon it is. So this thing is Kali. So what about 17 then? Can I combine it? Whoa. Can I combine it with that? If you, ah uh, 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 yeah, if you already have a version of this theme, ins uninstall it first. Okay, then the other thing was the minus U. And that's uninstall. Remove dark matter, yes, no, yes. That's removed. We could have a look at control shift and then do go to the boot. Is it clean? Is it gone? Themes by right, gone. Now this one there, that one there. I am a tiling guy, right? And that one there. Let's install it again. This time Kali. Kali Kali Kali. 17. Up that. There it is. So number one. And uh, let's take color icons this time. Okay. So dark matter. And we got all this. And the icons are colorful. I did not look at the other icons, but right. I suppose they were white. Um, reboot. Reboot. Always fun, right? To explore something new. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we got this little dragon. Cool. Voila. Yeah, if you don't like to see this there, okay. Edit the back. Edit, edit the image any way you see fit because it's your machine. But the most of the work has been done. Right. Control T doesn't help me. <laughs> I need to go in here and then say it's a Python application and somewhere up there I can say U for uninstall. And let's see if we say remove dark matter. Yes. If he's going to put it back, do we have a black screen now on Grub? Yes, we have, right? So Remember that if you, it's okay, right? If you like black, it's cool. Best grub theme ever, right? Simple. 
But if you want to have the Vimix theme back, yeah, we'll have to do something. So Control Alt E is the Arch Linux 3 tool. And in here we have the Vimix Grub theme, which is the default. And behind there you can install so many more wallpapers. Or you can import selected image, something else from I don't know where, right? Uh, maybe we should, we could, we should, we do it, we do it, right? Apply the Vimix theme, number one. Choose and apply wallpaper. Let's import something else. Oh, let's first select an image, he says. He's right, he's right. That was too quick. There will be probably somewhere in here some background things. Backgrounds. Arch Linux login backgrounds. Okay, this is plain, meaning it's gray, something, something grayish. I'm gonna take this one. I have no clue where it is, but when I import the selected image, then something was added. Right? Something was added. I think it was this one. That was added, might have been this one. Would be nice if we could read it, Eric, where it was. Mm, yeah, I know, it's not there yet. Let's try again. Nah, it's gone. But assets, right? Backgrounds, look at that. <laughs> I can have my arch strike. Let's have a look what's all in there. So in here, there is assets and backgrounds. And all the backgrounds are here. Right, go change these files. Et voilà. It will pop it in there afterwards. Here are some icons you can maybe like and love. Colorful things. Is our article looking good? Yeah, sure. No remark to be made. And these are all the white guys. Well, now I've seen them as well. So again, uh, ATT. Well, let's take this one, doesn't really matter. Choose and apply wallpaper or any of the other wallpapers. Let's include it again once more. People always ask me, Eric, where are, do you get these beautiful wallpapers, right? I get them from here, variety. I type in wallhaven. I say, give me abstract designs. So that's the uh, tag, right? That is used there. It's going to be done with right now. One, two, three. I'm not looking for wallpapers. It comes in, right? It just comes in. And I keep adding because I'm also a guy about sci-fi. So I see some planets and some Star Wars stuff and stuff like that. Et voila. I don't have to do anything about it. Sci-fi is in. Next one. Let's take this nice woman, I think it is. Voila. And then people ask me questions. Where do you find all these things? I don't look for these things. It's given to me. Knowledge, that's all it is. All right, okay, let's reboot, restart. Okay, I can't read it, <laughs> but okay. It's that wallpaper that's clearly uh, fixed again. So we've got our default crop of Arclinx back. And um, yeah, maybe we could make these fonts black. I was thinking about that. What if I have something more light? So the backgrounds will be always good with black. What if, probably also some kind of setting in our grub. That's why we should go. The video is getting too long. But I'm just having fun, and that's what Linux is all about. Having fun. File system, boot, grub, themes, Vimix, text. D, 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 default something, I thought. Def, def, no, theme, theme text, okay. Theme text, text. Selected item color, white. Item color, more grayish kind of thing. So, if I make the item color zeros, zero, 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 save. 
Would that make the lines black? Probably. And the selected item color, not white, but black-ish. 33, 33, 33. And so there's a difference between the one that's selected and the one that's not selected. Any other colors? There is also a color here. Show a countdown message using the label component. I don't really know what this is but with trial and error you'll figure it out so what i often do to figure things out is red green blue ff0000 that's red we'll see what this bit of code does if something is red you know it's that so black and going for that and now we have to rebuild it we have to tell grub Go update yourself. Update grub, please. And you see it found the Vimix team, not the other one. So the reboot. Voila. Can't find exact invalid color. Ooh, I made a mistake in the color specification. All right, no problem. I can fix that. Let's see, what did I do wrong? I thought I did everything correct, but... He knows better. Uh, two, four, yes, four. And this is three and three and three is not correct. Three, three does exist. Huh? Lights are out. Lights are on. Why, who, what? <laughs> control Z. Control Z, control Z, control Z. Save. This is the original. So what's the difference? Item color, selected item color. Those are six, those are six, and those are six. I don't see the issue here, my friend. Why do you think there is an issue? Desktop color, global. Show the boot menu. very strange so one by one first this one save six zeros okay update group all right that's black so when i select it's black it's readable right it's mm, well if it's bold, it would be better, but okay, it's readable. Sublime text. So we've changed selected item color, check. And this can be a little bit darker as well, so what if I did 2 2 2 2 2 2 save? Eric is going to reboot. All right. It's good enough because you see this white thing moving down, more or less. I actually wanna know what this white thing is. Can, I think it's an image. Is that an image? Because then we can't do really, can't really do anything. Boot, grub. Themes, Vimix, backgrounds, 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 selected, I would call it, select probably, select C, select E. So that's gonna be, needs to be changed in the GIMP department. But theme looks already good. So it was this guy, then we couldn't change that little guy. Well, we keep off because the way it looks is good. But I am wondering, I, th I, th I thought some, I said something about bold. Eh? I wonder if we add bold to it, if that's understood somehow, <laughs> or if that's gonna be a disaster. Because that might be interesting for people with bad 
eyesight like me. Not really. It's not does not seem to be bolder. Eh? Darker. So that's not understood. Times regular. How about this? This looks like a better order of things. And they grow up. Nope. Don't think so. Whoa. Got another what if. It's gonna be way too big, but eh, let's see. And if I test it, you don't have to test it. Oh no, that's rubbish. Something not to test them. Well, doesn't even change. Okay. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control. Why is he doing that? That's a bad Control Z. Really bad. I'm not gonna save you. Close without saving. File system, etc. Okay, when you, maybe that's a better thing. When you mess, mixed up, if um, messed up or mixed up, did you know, probably gonna surprise some people, did you know <laughs> that we know we're a learning distribution, right? We know that. We all make mistakes. Not Vimix, but Eric, but yeah, Vimix. Article links Vimix then. Uh, group theme Vimix. We know that we make mistakes. We but that's the point we want to learn and then when you learn you make mistakes boot grub themes right Zzzz. user share grub themes we've put it in two places so if you mess up user share grub themes oh my god right this guy and that guy is the same. Yeah, it was a new guy. This was the ATT03. So this is there. It means that when you mess up the theme, you can actually melt it there, compare the boats, super five, and then you say, I'm gonna compare a, compare a folder or a file and you see the differences or in this case I would say I'll open this well actually or you open it as folder as root and you copy paste but it's much easier you open up the original control A control C you go to the other one that you messed up open this one control A delete control V save that's it everything is back to normal because you took the backup this gets never will never change this thing always be exactly the same in the beginning but once you start experimenting right it's gonna look different oh update grub and to the reboot and all's well and you have back this thing all right enjoy the new uh, grub theme that's out there it's not on the AOR, it's not, well, it might be, I haven't checked it actually, but it's just a, um, yeah, an, a code, you copy paste, like I've done here, and if you like it, you keep it, simple as that, cheers. <laughs>